I got my business suit, my business stick. We're gonna go talk to businessman extraordinaire Mitt Romney, one of the original members of the Gnarly Human Beings. Some people are passionate about music, others are passionate about sports. Mitt Romney, he's passionate about fixing stuff. Fix the Olympics, fix the state of Massachusetts. Now he's trying to fix the White House. You know, it's been a, it's been a real thrill to go all over the country and to campaign. I, uh, I've really had some fabulous personal experiences. My dad told me when, when I was a young man, he said, Mitt, don't ever get involved in politics. He should have stopped there. He said, until you're able to run a campaign without having to wonder if you lost whether you could pay your mortgage. And he said, number two, don't, don't run for office until your kids are raised, if you decide to run, because it could turn their head. They could start thinking that because their dad is a county commissioner that they're a big shot too, and it's not a good idea. So I, I now understand where that came from. I campaign now with my grandchildren. And one in particular is my grandchild, grandchild, his name is Parker Mitt Romney, and I've been taking him around with me. He's, he's held in my left arm as I shake people's hands. And I was in Nashville, New Hampshire, shaking a lot of hands. He doesn't say much, only a few words, mama, dada, papa. And now he goes up to people on the airplane or wherever he is, he puts out his hand and says, oh, hi, hi, hi. All right, action sports and politics. What's the connection? Uh, I think politics is an action sport for old guys. I can't do what I used to do as a kid, but uh, getting out there and getting beaten up in the debates is uh, sort of, it's kind of my kind of sport. Governor, you're going to ride this surfboard, and you're going to ride this wave of support in Orange County, and you're going to ride that wave all the way to the White House. So far on A Guy's Guide, we've found some amazing chunks of wisdom from some of the best athletes on the planet, some of the most advanced spiritual gurus. What about politicians? What kind of wisdom might they have? Can a politician ever be someone's hero? We asked Matt Romney, son of Mitt Romney, what was the most impressive thing he'd ever seen his dad do? You know, he saved me one time. I don't know if I ever told you this story. I don't know. I don't, I don't recall. Was it at Lake Winnipesaukee? No, it was no. in Hawaii. In Hawaii? Yeah. What happened? You saw that surfboard that he just got. Yeah. He, I could see him eyeing me because he knew. Because <laughs> I tried surfing and I was no good. So I'm in Hawaii and huge swells. And uh, I'm out there on a rented board. And I get pushed into the reef. And pretty soon I'm kind of stuck in the reef. And each time I try to get myself up, get my leash off, another set comes in. And uh, after a little bit, the waves, I was getting bloodied up on the reef and the leash was wrapped you know, so tight, I could not get it off. Mm. Uh, a wave came in and actually pushed me under the reef, reef at one point. And I remember thinking, okay, now I have to get this off. And I don't know, you know I'm, I know I was in a very tough spot, but my dad, who had been walking back to the hotel, just kind of got this feeling that he needed to turn around. Mm. So he turns around, jumps in, everybody's just watching. He jumps in with his clothes on, jumps on top of the reef, pulls me out by my leash, and saves me. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. I went running out there, uh, and when it, you know, the waves had pulled back from the reef, I'd go running across the reef, and then I got him, I got his board untangled. He was being held under the water, yeah. and got him up on the board, and then we went in. But by the time we got in, running across the reef had cut us up so bad. Oh, man. I had, I mean, you know, how they, they're not deep cuts, but all these little tiny yeah. surface they cuts hurt. all over both of us. They do, they do hurt. But uh, we got, we came back to the hotel, and, and uh, Anna was there, and both of us had bloody T-shirts, bloody you know, uh, pants on. Shark attack. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a shark attack, but it, you know, it's all surface. Oh man! And so, speaking of surfing, it seems like this opportunity for you is almost like paddling into the biggest wave of your life. And <laughs> and, and uh, we were talking about this the other day. Uh, Mike Metzger, who's a freestyle motocross guy, talked about the gnarly human being club. He's like, yeah, there's a club of people that are gnarly human beings that do, you know, do all these crazy things. And I'm like, I think I know one. And I think you're a gnarly human being in the sense that you're paddling into the biggest wave that I think anyone's ever surfed. And you're dropping in and you're about ready to go for, a, I mean, you've been on a ride for the last year, probably the wildest ride of your life. I mean, where does it go from here? Well, you know, I always have my helmet on. This, this, <laughs> this hair is so hard. 
Yeah. Wear your helmets, kids. Yeah. <laughs> you know the stuff they, they put on the outside of the uh, uh, at, uh, you know the space shuttle. That's the same stuff I put in my hair every day. So it's tough I'm, stuff. It's tough stuff. I'm in good shape. I can handle a wave. Engineered by NASA. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe the most important position in the free world is simply to be there when your kids need you. I'm Brian Spencer, and this is A Guy's Guide.